All right. And with that in mind, why don't we go on yet a, 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 quite an express, to be honest, given how short this game is, with Yoki's Island Express with Ian e Key. Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to Fastest First Spring Spectacular 2021. I am your host, Focus Sight, and we are here with Ian Keith running Yoku's Island Express. Take it away, Ian. Hello! Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. I am Why'd Ian Why'd you say good night? It's, it's not the end. It just depends on where you are in the world. That's true. <laughs> I am Ian Keith. This is Yoku's Island Express. It is a great big pile of adorable. It's a pinball Metroidvania. Um, nice, short, simple little run. I have given myself a little bit of an extra challenge. There's exactly two skips in this whole game. Each attempt on each skip is $10 out of my pocket straight to the charity. For those of you who... Uh, have wanted to check this game out, don't worry, I'm not going to spoil it. For those of you who have played it, don't worry, I'm not going to spoil it. Anyways, um, I think I'm pretty much ready. i got a lot of talking to do in a short amount of time once we get going, so... If everybody else is ready... Yeah, for sure. Um, feel free to give it... Uh, do you want me to give a countdown? Um... Uh, you know what? Yeah. Yeah, you do the countdown. Sure, because I'm probably not going to get any other time to speak in this smile. You might get a little, don't worry. Maybe. Uh, we're going to see if it, you're going to blow the show away, and I'm so excited. So we're going to begin in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. And welcome to Yoku's Island Express. We are Yoku. We are this adorable little dung beetle. He's on top of a pinball right now. Because we don't want to have poop on the stream. This is a PG-13 stream. Anyway, he's taking over as the new postmaster for this island. Uh, because support the postal off postal services for the post office. Uh, anyways, everything is perfectly normal. Everything is fine. Shh. Everything is fine. We're just going to this awesome little island because Mokumata Village needs a postmaster. Everything is fine. Fish hat. the game begins so you control yoku just by moving him around super simple uh we're gonna say hi to the post aerodactyl there hi post aerodactyl enjoy your vacation goodbye we don't need to talk to you we don't want to bother you he's very very busy so here we have fruit fruit is your basic collectible for the game it also unlocks things you pay for stuff in fruit you bounce off of stuff and fruit comes out of it it's fantastic you control, uh, aside from just rolling around, you also control uh, Yoku with these little flippers. Say hi to Phosphor here. He's large and angry and doesn't want us to pass by him. So inevitably what we're going to do is ignore that uh, and go this way for a little while. The fruit that I collect along the way is extremely important. The routing on this is a little bit tight. Oops, nice bounce. Because it takes 30 fruit to unlock various springs that we see around the island. I have exactly enough right now that when I get through this area here, I will unlock a spring and unlock the one major item we'll be collecting this entire run that is super important and super adorable. Right up here we have the Noisemaker. Doot. Doot. The Noisemaker activates things around you and also can collect fruit that is a little distance away from you. It is absolutely vital for picking things up. It can even grab them through walls. Anyways, at this point, we're going to let the game kind of take control for a moment and slide us back down. There are times where it is way faster to do it that way. I'm going to go say hi to Phosphor, Phosphor again. And by that, I mean we're going to come up to Phosphor here. This is skip number one, by the way, so hopefully I get this first try. We're just going to kind of... a little bit of... nope! No first try there. Alright, we'll just try it again. We got one of the lucky bounces where it doesn't send us almost back to the beginning of the game. And we're just gonna single frame tap on the controller and get bit again. This can take a few tries. It, the positioning for this is what I like to call annoyingly inconsistent. I can feel my wallet lightening up. So just kinda, just edge, 
forward. He is not having it today. Uh, we have anything to read while I do this? Oh, there we go. So, five attempts there on Foss 4. Ouch. Anyway, we're going to pick up a bunch of fruit through walls here and come into the game explaining another important mechanic, which are these little keystones here. These little purple keystones. You see that wall over there to the right? It's also purple. That means they go together. You pick them up, you fill in part of the wall. And I roll down here. And it, it, it almost not go off the ledge because I'm very good at video games, as you can see. And we're going to come over here and pick up this third one. And the uh, thing explodes because that's how doors work. Doors explode. Another decent spot if you've got a quick donation or anything. What if you... If not, we're gonna roll by some Benui. Uh, they're called the Tweepers. Hello, Benui. I was muted. <laughs> I was muted. I'm so you sorry about that. I was saying I was just more impressed by how short this game is. How long is any percent no out of bounds? Um, I cannot remember how long that run is off the top of my head. Uh, oh, don't mind me. Uh, you can't really fail or die or anything in this game. You just lose some fruit if you follow the spikes, which actually can be a big pain in the butt with how tight the routing is for fruit in this run, but we'll pick up enough here that it won't really be an issue. I'm trying to remember how long the any percent is. Unfortunately, I cannot off the top of my head recall. We're in a section with six key pieces here. Just picked up the last one. Uh, we're up to the part where the split I have, yeah, I, I call it Pixar. You'll see why in a moment. We cleared out all these dust bunnies from this shed looking thing and Pixar. And now there's Cloud Gopher. We come flying out or we're about to meet another friend here. Say goodbye to the Tweepers. We're about to meet a guy who I call bread in my splits. This is Kickback. Kickback is just what you'd expect from a pinball game. He kicks you back into play or bounces you over spikes. We like bouncing off him because he makes a squeaky sound. He looks like bread and he's got it coming, frankly. Oh, bonus toot. He's like, hey, you collected me, and you have to go through about 19 more uh, text boxes right there. We match like a boss through those. I had to pick up a bunch of extra fruit because I'm kind of playing like a silly. We're now into the tower. I have to collect three key pieces in this first part. I spent a lot of time practicing this, so surely I'm about to absolutely mangle it. And I do. So, as I go through this, this is also a good time if you want to try and squeeze in a donation. Yes, we have a $25 donation from Olvin saying, Really proud of representing this marathon and to have done this run for charity. Donating $25 towards the Rhythm Doctor because who said that cats and dogs can't get along? And with that, we've actually met the Rhythm Doctor uh, incentive. So thank you so much, everyone, for donating. And thank you, Olvin, for your run. Awesome. I was... I was honestly going to com single-handedly complete that if it wasn't already completed. A little bit more time as we go through the tower I mean, here. Know, yes, that's true, because you've already had you already have fifty dollars to owe us, apparently, because we're the tax man. Eh, well, you know, I had it coming. I deserve it. The speedrunning tax man will find you and probably on in a new PB at some point. Oh, PB is coming after me. Oh, I got the bad bounce. We're going oh actually we Got the not-as-bad bounce. There we go. Well, the second worst. <laughs> I can't now, I can't help but think about a PVR mascot as just a tax collector. <laughs> He's coming to shake us down. Anyways, coming to shake us. We have made it to Mokumana Village. This kind of acts as the hub of the game. Big dude in the background there, that's Mokuma. Say hi to him. Hi, Mokuma. Over here to the right is Nim. He's kind of the leader. He's a little bit tied up at the moment, so we're not going to bother him. We just, we're just we just going to go over here really quick. I saw this cool tunnel that I wanted to go through. Uh, 
I've changed my mind. I don't want to go through this cool tunnel. Where I actually want to go is uh, uh, right here in this cool tunnel. And we're at the second half of the final boss of the game. Huh? Uh, we're hanging over a pit. Um, everything is clearly normal. I'm not doing this entirely blind. I've lied. I'm doing it entirely blind. Ignore the gigantic plant monster that's popped up there. We're basically playing a free four ball multi ball over on the right hand side of the screen, bouncing the balls off of the purple things you can just see in the right corner there to attach explosive slugs to a plant monster. Yes. Huh? This is how the post office actually works. So I am kind of doing this entirely blind, and I'm not really getting the greatest bounces right now. Oh, there we go. There's a few more. Are you doing this based off simply audio cues? Nope. Oh, also time is coming up in just a moment here, because I'm going to set off a chain reaction once they get angry, and time. We went from just getting to the hub to finishing the entire game. We do have nine minutes. Some... Oh jeez, that's because I took five tries on uh, Phosphor, as I call him top. Oh, by the way, uh, oh, oh, uh, Nim's fine again. No, wait, no he's not. Bye, Mokuma. Oh, uh, bye, Mokuma. Um, oh, oh, Nim's fine again. Uh, Mokuma's back. <laughs> Yoku is here too because reasons. Uh, Mokuma is back and the mark is gone. We couldn't have done this without Postmaster Yoku. This calls for a celebration from people who we definitely saved and are not invisibly playing instruments. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Everything is normal. Everything is really calm. Don't worry. This is this is what this is what you think. This is what uh, Yoku actually goes through trying to th when when they, th they this is the idea of success in Yoku's mind, but it's not yet been achieved, so you don't even know what it looks like. But it's just like, yeah, I want a celebration. This is actually just his drive to work in the morning. Well, Ian, that was incredible. That was absolutely incredible. Shoutouts really quick, his name is on the screen, uh, X-Wing, who is the world record holder for this game, came into my chat while I was playing through it casually, uh, hung out with me, showed me the tricks for the speed run. He also has developed the randomizer that this game has automatically in it, in the beta. Super awesome dude, super awesome game, and also shoutouts to my community, I love you all. Honestly, and that is wonderful. Thank you so much for running this. I am... As someone who does a lot of broken games, this really makes me quite happy uh, to see this sort of style. So it's honestly really cool that we get to have more of this 